In this Kangaroo Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can make this parametric pattern in Grasshopper uh, using the Kangaroo plugin. Okay, to get started from scratch, uh, what I want to do is to go to the curve uh, menu and use this circle to just make a circle in the XY plane. So I'm just going to give a number slider to this radius so I can control the circle. Okay, now that we have the circle, we can also give a point to that input. Uh, for the plane if we connect a point to a plane it's going to assume that this is an xy plane so that's fine we can just move this point around to change the location of the circle okay now that we have this circle uh, so what i want to do is to divide this circle into series of polylines and use these points as circles uh, which the radius is going to grow and as they grow they're going to collide and produce the pattern so uh, we just have to go to the curve and divide the circle into a series of points uh, i'm going to start with 100 to maybe 2000 and the more you have the division uh, the best the pattern will be so maybe 600 is going to be okay after we divide this into a series of points we're going to turn it back into a polyline so I'm going to make it into a polyline and say it's closed. Uh, the default input is false, so it's not going to close the curve and make the polyline. So I'm going to say invert and make it a polyline. So that's just like simply the first step, uh, converting the circle into a polyline. The reason, uh, the second reason we're doing this is in the Kangaroo plugin, uh, one of the goals you can produce and use is the goals uh, length line. So it's somehow similar to the mesh. If you have seen uh, previous tutorials about uh, mesh relaxation, uh, the, somehow the edge length component, which converts a mesh into a series of springs connected together, this is going to be good for polylines because this one is going to convert each of the lines into a spring. So what I want to do is to now explode this polyline into its segments, curve, and use this explode. So if I just bake the segments, you can see that we have converted that into all of the segments we need and we can give it to the line. Okay. Uh, there's also a strength. We can give a number slider to that. Maybe we're going to start from 1 to 10, two decimals. That's going to also control the uh, pattern. The length here, uh, as you can see here, it says that uh, if you uh, provide nothing, the starting length will be used. So that means that the length can't be uh, shortened. But to do the uh, to make the parametric pattern, what we have to do is to multiply the segment's length. So we we'll just simply connect a number to the segments, so we can get the length of each of these segments, and multiply that with a number slider, which is between zero and one. Uh, one means that the length is going to be the same over all the simulation, and a zero is going to mean that um, it can shorten somehow similar to a zero length somehow like a spring shorten till it's like a zero length okay uh, that is going to be the first uh, goal we need for the kangaroo plugin uh, let's just go here in the main i'm going to use the solver give this to the goal object we also need a button to reset the simulation as you can see it's nothing nothing is happening here also, I usually use a toggle to turn this true or false. Okay, okay. now that we have the first uh, force, uh, we have to go to the second force, which is goals, collision, and sphere collide. Uh, we're going to convert all of these division points into series of spheres colliding together to make the pattern. So I'm going to go to sphere collide, uh, connect the point divisions here. Uh, let's start with a radius 0 0.1 to maybe 3 with two decimals. And the strength can also be a number slider like the strength of the length line. Okay, I'm going to give that to here. Uh, then I'm going to connect the sphere collide to the goal objects and just reset that. 
Okay, after connecting the sphere collide command and resetting the simulation, uh, what we have to do is to connect these vertices together. So I'm going to go to the curve and uh, use uh, interpolation to connect them together. And remember that we have to close the curve. So I'm going to make it periodic true. So it's going to be closed. Uh, we can also use a surface boundary turn off the curve so it's going to be converted into a boundary surface let's just also go to the uh, display and use a custom preview maybe give it a swatch i'm going to make it in a color in a black and also go to the rendered mode so you can see the final results okay so that is how you can make the parametric Uh, that is how you can make the parametric pattern. Okay, the most important part about uh, making the simulation is changing the number of divisions we had here. Uh, when you want to change the divisions before you do that, turn off the simulation to false. And for example, make this 2000. Then I'm going to reset the simulation and turn it on. So somehow it's going to produce a new result. For this one, I have put the strength to the default one and the strength of the length line to maybe 2.5. If you increase that, that's going to somehow smoothen the final result. And if you decrease that, it's going to give you a more like these kind of patterns. Uh, you can also play with the multiplication of the lines. So if you just increase that, and hit on the reset you can see it's somehow producing final results uh, what's making it slow is the boundary surface because it has to calculate boundary surface of the curve so if you want to see the curve just uh, turn on the curve here you can also produce somehow like these curves and these shapes and patterns okay uh, another thing you can do, as you can see here, when I reset the simulation, uh, the spherical is trying to open the, up the pattern. So if you want to prevent these openings, uh, you can go to Gold's Point and make a plastic anchor. So I'm going to add the plastic anchor to here. Uh, the points are going to be the same points as the spherical I'm going to add this to here. Uh, the reset uh, here is also another button. You can reset this, the location of the plastic points. But the most important part is the limit. So let's just start with zero and add it up to two, two decimals. And I'm going to add the shift key to add this up. Okay, so zero is not going to affect it, but if I just increase this number and reset the simulation, you can see that this is not going to slide because this plastic anchor says if you reach this limit, uh, it's going to slide. So the distance is not that much and it's not going to slide. So if you decrease that to zero, it's going to slide. And when you want to stop it, you just increase that number and it's going to give you a result. Again, I can go to zero and stop it zero and stop this pattern uh, to produce the final result so this plastic anchor can also help you if you reset the simulation here reset this plastic anchor it's going to also give you some uh, other patterns so always uh, be sure to put this to zero run the simulation and whenever you want to stop this openings just increase that and it will produce the final results and then you can just connect that curve to the surface and get the shape or the surface you want Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. See you next time. Bye.